this is step three or lesson three. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to proceed in this order, but I'm trying to do this logically. If I go to a 3D view, you can see now that our drawing, we haven't drawn any geometry, but we do have um, two vector, draw, vector drawings in plan. They aren't aligned uh, 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 vert that is, they aren't aligned horizontally. That is, the elevations aren't aligned with the face of building and that that sort of thing. They were just placed in order to uh, um, determine the elevation bullets. So um, I'm going to I'm going to continue. I'm going to draw the the basement elevations, and I'm going to draw the basic topography and a building uh, what's called a building pad which creates the, depre the depression in the earth for the building so it excavates the, the, the earth so let let's go to the site view you know there's a bunch of geometry about you can see our elevation markers they're about where they want to be we'll worry about those later so from the site view i'm going to go massing inside top of surface and i'm going to very simply just draw four points way out here at at, at zero zero elevation by default that's what's indicated here and if i finish surface here it places the earth at that point. And so if I go back to a 3D view, we can see what I've created. The building pad wants to be the shape of the footprint of the building. So let's go back to level one. A building pad Building pad is accessed from the uh, massing in site menu, and it is one of those architectural elements that's defined by its shape or boundary. And as such, uh, Revit invokes what's called sketch edit mode. Click on building pad, and now it it allows me to draw these pink lines. I'm just going to take a rectangle tool and show you. If, if I were to draw that, it would create a rectangle. Uh, uh, a building pad at elevation zero in the earth of that shape. Let's undo that and just trace around the boundary. I'm just going to go around the exterior of the building uh, for purposes of the Technically, I really ought to work from a foundation plan, but this this will be useful enough for what I'm doing. These are model lines, sketch edit mode, little pink. I, I can go to other views and you can see what I'm drawing there. So I just click back to go to this other view. If I, if I click finish edit here, the building pad has an elevation of zero. All right. Um, if I make it say minus 10 feet, Notice it has created this depression in the 
topography 10 feet. So it might seem like I'm doing a lot of uh, planning and not much drawing at this point, but, but by setting up this sort of apparatus, uh, dimensional uh, conditions of the building will save you a lot of work later on. Uh, let's leave, yeah, why not? Let's leave that at lesson three.